Right now at six, weight loss drugs continue to skyrocket in popularity. That's largely because they offer hope to those who struggle to shed pounds using traditional methods. But some are now raising concerns the hype around the medications could trigger those with eating disorders. Right now, there's very limited research on the connection between weight loss drugs and eating disorders, but it's important to stress while weight loss drugs can come with a lot of benefits, there are some risks people need to consider. Some people are really going to benefit from this and some aren't, um, and they should really review that with a medical professional. Weight loss drugs, they can change the lives of those who struggle to shed unhealthy weight through diet and exercise alone. Our ultimate goal is to help people lose weight for the medical benefits of it. So reducing risk of diabetes, heart failure, the cardiovascular risk, um, all of those things come with a BMI of less than 30. Dr. Micah Mabe with Memorial Health says many of the injectable drugs often work by slowing down your digestion. So your stomach's going to empty slower, your intestines are going to digest slower, and that just gives you a fuller feeling, so you're going to stop eating sooner. But the medications do come with some dangers. There are some uh, slight uh, um, other issues to be considered, such as if people have gastroparesis, significant acid reflux, or people with a history of gallstone disease, since uh, gall, uh, gallbladder issues can take place. And people just need to know that before they start it. But the risks aren't just physical. Some are now beginning to question how these drugs could impact people on a mental level, particularly those who've overcome an eating disorder in the past and may fall back into old patterns. I think when you are looking at um, any scope of mental health diagnoses, there's always a fear of relapse or free, a fear of reverting back. Dr. Mabe says oftentimes people can regain the weight they lost after stopping these drugs. We have pretty good data that supports one year after stopping the medication, they're going to regain at least half of the weight that they lost. Some fear that regain could lead to problematic behavior like skipping meals or eating very little. So how can you know if your eating habits are becoming unhealthy? If you're having to hide it, um, if it's something that you know that it's not right, but I don't know, I, I want to continue doing this, um, it's often, you know, at that point, needing to reach out. When it comes to weight loss medications, doctors say consider steering clear if you've ever had a history of an eating disorder like anorexia or bulimia. So it's making sure that, you know, as an individual that you're always looking back at self and recognizing and focusing on your mental health. Dr. Stress, you shouldn't be trying to get weight loss medications online. You want to speak to a physician face to face. The ultimate goal with these drugs is to get you to your healthiest version. Seeing a doctor will ensure whether this is the right path for you or not.